Hey everybody! Well, I spoke too soon, um, and a lot of you guys warned me, and Josh warned me, to not like be like, yay, pain is, pain is under control! Um, I'm having a little bit of a harder time today, definitely hurting, like my mid-back is hurting, and even taking the oxycodone on top of the pain patch, like I still have about an hour before I can take any more oxycodone, and my back's hurting quite a bit, so I'm probably gonna try a little Tylenol, see if that helps tide me over. Um, and then check in with the palliative care team. I am going to give it some time. I'm going to give it like a week or so and see it once, uh, you know, the pain patch medicine is all the way in my system and everything and hopes that it will make it better. Otherwise, we'll reevaluate and continue to test what works best. So that's kind of the, the only thing we can kind of do moving forward. So that's good and it's okay. I'm glad I celebrated the little win the other day when um, when I was just not hurting. It was awesome and lovely. Um, some of you guys saw our post earlier. We spent New Year's going to the movie with the family and this was Rayla's very first time seeing a movie in the theater and that was super exciting. She did awesome only got up once and that was because she said she had to go potty, which as a two and a half year old is even more exciting than the movie, um, at least for the parents who are glad that she recognized that. So yay, Rayla. Um, let's see, what else, what else? Um, I'm definitely that brain fog, that like chemo brain is just kicking my butt and it's happening more so when I'm cooking not a good thing. Um, I almost just burned the kids grilled cheese sandwiches because I put them on and then walked away. Not a smart thing to do. So I uh, need to be super careful with that and maybe make sure Josh is in the room when I'm cooking. Um, I was trying to do, of course, like two or three other things at the same time. And I did save them. It was okay. They weren't burnt, but they could have. And I've done that before. Um, so that's never a good feeling because then you have a very tangible uh example of the chemo brain and that is a smelly smelly kitchen so yeah that's what we're doing um man so yeah as i mentioned before busy week uh or two moving forward with doc different doctor's appointments and things i'm hoping this week um i'll be able to touch base with our uh some contractors who we're hoping to work with to get a nice backyard area built, uh, specifically like a covered patio, so that we will have a nice non-sunny area to spend some time outdoors with the family. As you, you can kind of see, we have a green space behind our house. And I, there's even like down in a gully, there's a creek that goes through. So during the summer or in the spring and stuff, when it's been raining, you can hear the water running. And um, and when it warms up, you can hear frogs and crickets. And it's very, very nice. I appreciate where we live so much because of that. Um, so yeah, hoping to touch base with them to kind of get a timeline on when we can expect some of that work to be going on. In the hopes that, you know, come spring, we'll have this nice this nice outdoor patio. It'll be great. Um, hmm, what else? What else? Um, I'm not actually sure I have a whole lot else. I hope your guys's New Year's Eve were either super chill or you know, whatever it was, I hope it was what you wanted it to be. Um, we had family over and um, we had a lot of fun. It was a little bit crazy at times, um, but we did, we decided to, um, kind of go a more like Asian route with food. And so we did homemade ramen. We had um, then also just a bunch of fingery food. So we had like some egg rolls, some mini egg rolls. I made coconut shrimp, which turned out really good. Um, and some like dips and, and different things. We were gonna make bao, but we had some just like the prepackaged stuff from Costco. We had so much other food that we didn't need it. So that's still sitting there. Um, and so that was really neat. Like everyone just kind of got to munch and we just were constantly pulling out. Oh, here's another thing to eat. Oh, here's another thing to eat. And so people just snacked and it turned out really good. Um, I think my mom was super impressed with the ramen. She's never had homemade ramen before. Um, and she was over there going, mmm. So that's always a win when we can uh, impress my mom with food. So yeah, so um, I know I've asked before, but I'd love to know what you guys did or didn't do for New Year's or if you had extra plans today, um, what, what it was on New Year's Day, like how are you getting ready for the year? 
Like today is the day, right? Maybe not. I'm hoping most of you just like sat back and relaxed. Um, but yeah. Okay. So that's, that's all I got for you. Enjoy spending a week writing the wrong date on everything. And I will see you tomorrow.